You guys, one second. He's asking a question, guys. Sure. Yeah. So, what about uh, eth ethical farming? Like uh, in Kerala, we have chickens and uh, goats. We don't force them to do. We fed them properly, and then when the time comes, they lay lay eggs, and we don't sell it to them. We use it for our own purpose. So, what about ethical farming and so all? So, you're that? talking only about eggs, or also about flesh and dairy? What are you talking about here? Only eggs, sir. Huh? Eggs and milk. And so not about flesh, because you understand, for getting flesh, we have to kill someone. So that you agree, there is no humane method for that, right? Okay, fine. So first, I'll come to milk, and then I'll talk about eggs. So first thing regarding the dairy industry, you have to understand a dairy farmer, his only job is to make money. He's a businessman. He has to make a profit. Now, in case... It's not a dairy farm. It's a, just a house, and we are having chickens and... Uh, cows, buffalo, cows, whatever. Yeah. Okay, fine. We don't sell it to anyone. We are just uh, not buying it. From your own house you are yeah, making? Okay. We are using it for our, our own self and we are not forcing them to uh, do it. We, just, we are just feeding okay. them properly. But to produce milk every single year, you have to answer this question. Let's say how many, let's say can we, say we have five cows for example. So you have five cows. To get milk the next year, these five cows have to be pregnant this year. Only after being pregnant for nine months, they give birth and then you can get milk from them, right? So you'll have to make these cows pregnant. Without making them pregnant, you can't run a dairy farm. Agreed? So that is cruelty. How can we force impregnate others? Isn't that wrong? And think about that. I mean, we are not forcing it. We are but like then define how they get pregnant. See, if you are saying to me, you have a, say an open field right now with five cows and say like two bulls, and if you are waiting for them to mate naturally among themselves and pre get pregnant, that's probably never going to happen. The reason we use artificial insemination is because that ensures that she gets pregnant 100% of the time. Firstly, and next, even if you're going to force a bull to mount on her, that's still extremely long. We are these animals are not getting to choose when they want to mate based on their wishes. We are now tying her up and forcing a male on top of her. That's an immoral act. How can we do that? That's what I'm saying. About eggs, I'm asking you. And similarly, okay, let's just say, leave the forced impregnation aside. Let's say they all give birth to babies next year, five babies, all five are males. What will you do with the males? Male cows are useless with your milk. How can you feed five? You know how much a cow will eat? How much will a bull eat? How much water they'll drink? So much. So if you had every year five, five babies being born, you will be within a few years, you'll have like 25, 30 cattle with you. How can you manage all of them? Which is why once the male calf is born, he is sent to the slaughterhouse. Easy money. Without killing off the male calf, you can't run a successful. You cannot, you, even as a house farm, how can you run? Fair enough, my point is? Now, my next thing about eggs, if you ask me, when you take eggs right now, uh, let's think of it this way. Where did you get the chickens from? If you want to have, let's say a family farm, no cruelty, no cutting of beak, all of that, okay. But where will you get the eggs from? You get from the shop. From the breeder. Which means you're once again supporting the whole incubation, breeding, the same industry. It's part of the same industry. Right now, without breaking from the industry, you can't do it. And the point of veganism is not about how the exploitation happens, but rather that it happens. We are not against different, we're not saying it's a nicer way to do a bad thing. We are saying this is exploitation, this is confinement, this is slavery, this is wrong. We should not be doing this to animals. To, uh, to figure out if something is right or wrong, ask how we would feel if we had that same thing done to ourselves. If, we, if I feel something is not cruel, the question you should ask me is, OK, Arvind, if I did what you do to the animals, to you and your family, how will you feel? Oh no, don't do it to me. Then don't do it to them. That's because treat others like how you want to be. It's a fast statement to make, right? So that's why there is no such thing as humane meat, humane cheese, humane eggs. These don't exist. These are all marketing gimmicks done by the companies just to make us feel less guilty about buying our, our, their products. In the end, in the egg industry, male chicks are killed. In the end, the male calves are killed. And once both of them are not profitable for their respective industries, they are also killed. There is no way around this. This is how things work. That's my answer.